best friends. Turned on my L's in the lessons. You see the whip pulling up, it's like screw. Dream pulling up, I'm like screw. I'm living my best life. It's my birthday. What up, fam? fam? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Dale. And I'm Jazz. And today, we are coming at you with a story time. No so, food. Right. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of questions about how we met, so <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what this video is going to be about. Mm -hmm. But before we get into all that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time I post a video. Because that bell ain't ringing, then your phone be singing. So if you don't see those <laughs> outside of that bell, that means you won't be notified. We drop all the videos that we drop. Yes, we've been dropping a lot of videos. We usually tell story times in our mukbangs, but y'all like be mesmerized by the food. food. Y'all be listening. And a lot of people are asking <laughs> some questions. So, we and we asked about story times and a lot of people said they enjoy story time. So Yes. So, if you guys enjoyed this story time, let us know down in the comments what other stories you want to hear. Or if you want to hear more story times, no food, <laughs> let us know all that down in the comments. So, let's get into this story. The question we have been getting asked quite a bit is mm -hmm. how we met. Yes. Now, this is very... I would say, first of all, <laughs> y'all finna get the... You can't say uncut, but the truth, the whole truth, the raw, the, version, truth. the raw version. Yes, the raw version, which a lot of people don't know. People think we've been together longer than it looks and all It'll that. So five years in May. Mm -hmm, we just hit four years being married. But anyway. One day, I'm going in to check the mail, and it's almost like Fritz. You, Christavia's brother? I respond, yes, that's my sister, and you know her how. And they t they commenced to tell me, I'm so disappointed at you. I used to hear such good things about you. So I'm like, hold up, first of all, who are you and what you talking about about me? Because you don't know me, you don't know nothing about me. The whole time, this is Jazz's cousin. So she's like, when did you start putting your hands on females? That's just, ooh, that's detestable. I'm <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I, you got me bent. And so she was like, your wife up here telling like the manager that you are beating on her to try to get you up out the unit. Probably. He talking, when he's talking about wife saying that somebody is beating her, mm. not me. Did we're literally starting at day one. When we met. So his ex-wife. Yes, my ex-wife. Mm -hmm. At the time, my wife. So that's why I say wife, because I'm mm -hmm. talking in the present tense. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm like, uh-uh, you get, first of all, we still need to establish who you are because you coming at me with all this and you talking about you did, you disappointed, like, who are you? And she's like, oh, you know, I'm such and such. Oh, I know your sister. You know, I went to school with your sister. I'm like, okay, cool. Now, we commence the talking and, you know, I'm straightening things out, not even, know, not even knowing there are things that need to be straightened out. You know, I'm telling her, you know, the interest is like, nah, that's not what happened. This is what's going on. This is what's going on. And so she tells me, dude, you need to get your stuff together and you need to bounce because she, she is, is really trying to set you up. Mm -hmm. And in the process, she's like, I have a cousin though. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cousin though that, you know, would really, 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 really appreciate you because from what I remember and, you know, I really do apologize because I shouldn't have came at you sideways like that. That was disrespectful. I should have taken one side of the story, which that's a key point in this fam. Key takeaway, do not be judgmental because you never know what is actually going on. Message. So, she, you know, we're talking for a while. She gives me Jasmine's number. Jasmine and I, we, you know, we text. Jazz asked me to send her a picture of me. I asked her for a picture. It takes mm -hmm. her like... 1500 years to send me a because picture because I was at work. Mm -hmm. So first of all my cousin texts me and she's like hey I got this um Guy that I'm thinking about you know y'all y'all should exchange numbers. I'm like hmm, Okay, where well, he came from she was like he's really really nice. Oh, hold on. Ooh, I forgot one thing now fam when when I talk about my ex, the paperwork had already been signed. We literally waiting on the court to finalize and how much dumbs everything when Jazz and I met. So it's not like a hey no. Like was that was done because I had been done so wrong in their relationship. We got another Story. first of all, she cheated. 
So yeah, them some stories time. Them if you want to hear that story, stories. let us know yeah. in the comment. Okay. Uh -oh. But anyway, she said I have this guy. He's really nice, but he is married and he is older. So uh, a lot of people don't know that also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm 23. Deb just turned 30. 30. So there is an age difference, but I'm very mature for my age. So it was like she knew that, hey. Match. Yes. <laughs> yes, because at the time I was 19 and you were, what, 25? 25, yes. That was a big difference, but you can really tell we finally um sent each other a picture and we were texting back and forth first of all when he told me his name y'all i'm looking like what kind of name is this i can't pronounce this but we literally text all day until i got off work mm. and then when i finally got off work we ended up talking on the phone y'all <laughs> from the day we first exchanged day. numbers yeah. We were inseparable. We stayed on the phone for like three days. I'm talking about like sleeping on the phone. Yes, we met in the middle of the week. Yes, we got <laughs> to know each other really well just texting and talking on, on the, the phone. phone. We yeah. just did not want to get off the phone. She's at work. I'm on the phone with her. Then when I'm at work, like we never got off the phone. If we weren't around each other best believe we <laughs> he just invited me over to dinner at his house i had never been you know to a guy's house you know for dinner you know by myself before so that was kind of I, I don't say it wasn't scary but i just i didn't know what to expect but she did do something that was very smart and i couldn't take it offensively because like women are very vulnerable she brought somebody <laughs> with her <laughs> they ain't finna set me up <laughs> now although we first got although when they first got there the person left you know after they got there but she did initially bring someone with her and yes that was, so they so, can know where i was now that was very 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 smart so <laughs> you know i i was like okay cool she has some wit about her mm -hmm. but we had dinner and he pretty much explained to me his situation because my cousin did tell me that he was married but i can't say i didn't really understand but it's still better to hear it from him yeah. and you know get his side of the story because she couldn't you know like i had all the paperwork and i had all the proof that you know mm -hmm. like hey i'm not one of these guys that's out here like oh yeah oh yeah, i'm getting like, a divorce, getting a divorce. and like, not nah, getting he, a divorce he go to, he go to he, sign paperwork <laughs> y'all he showed me the papers like hey i ain't playing with you yes this is set in stone so pretty much we just we just waiting on the court system to get to it. Mm -hmm. So when we met, he was he was married, and we did mm -hmm. pursue you know a relationship because y'all we it fell fast. Yeah, they were over, but it was like we were both each other's breath of fresh air. So we fell fast. Hell, hell, Once we talked on the phone, we talk, we kept talking on the phone. I kept coming over to visit. We started going on dates. Boy, we man I came up. I courted her whole family. I'm telling y'all, from the, <laughs> went to mom, the, the 1700 best friends. <laughs> man, y'all, when I tell you, when I met Jazz, she had like that many best friends. <laughs> and he met every everybody. Q, QD. She had like that many best friends. I'm telling you, she started out her best friends <laughs> like she was starting out your channel, QDs. <laughs> So pretty much after he met everybody, that was that was almost a wrap. So Q really said it best, you know, and it was something that neither of us had ever really thought about because we both had tumultuous childhoods. We both had crazy things going on as we were growing up and it was like we really heal each other so mm -hmm. that's kind of why our bond is so strong and why a lot of people don't get it and don't understand it is because the things that we went through as children although they weren't exactly the same they were so similar that when mm -hmm. we talk we can understand and we can feel where each other's coming from and the vibe on how it made us feel so that's what really helps our bond because we can talk to each other unhindered and we can actually like okay well this was good what was going on and talking about it and getting it out helps us heal 
um and with it being a healing process you know it that helps our bond because as we're talking about the things that we went through it really does start to lift off of us so mm -hmm. instead of kind of being so bogged up by our past when talking we're about like, it it's kind of you we, do that? we start to this is how we start to do with each other because mm -hmm. we're letting go of so much of that stuff because we're able to talk to each other about it a little bit of our timeline we said yeah. this yes we said this in another video but since this is story time we're talking about how we met we can really tell you guys a time we met in may of 2014 yes the day that we initially met we were like yeah, i don't like our number so <laughs> so we we're like okay we're gonna consider this day our official day we met during the week but by the weekend we were pretty yeah. much saying we were boyfriend and girlfriend <laughs> literally Locked. like four maybe four days later we like um yeah. we together <laughs> we so but it was on like may 19th but i was like oh like um odd number, number so, so we're just gonna say our anniversary is and that's, the 20th <laughs> and that's so peculiar because both of us have odd numbers as the day we were born on yes First and fifth, so <laughs> that is so peculiar yes yeah. we met and got together may of 2014 mm -hmm. By July of 2014, we were, engaged we were and pregnant by mm -hmm. the end of July. Engaged, pregnant, and moving in by the end of July. By the end of July and December of that same year, December we 10th, we got married. So literally within six that six months. within six months, we were together, married, starting a family, oh, kid and caboodle, all that. Now that doesn't work for everybody, but for us, it because of like it just it, worked. Yeah, because the relationships, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Just because people have been in previous relationships doesn't mm -hmm. mean they're not still looking for and yearning things. So it was like, although my previous marriage to jazz had not fully worked out that doesn't mean that oh you know I, I don't want that although when I met jazz I was like you know what I'm you know after you that's a wrap because before mm -hmm. you I was done you know I was finna be out I was finna be <laughs> out you um so and that's really what helped us work also because when we oh, got complete, when we got together openness. yes complete trust we said i'm not going he didn't blame me for the things that his ex-wife did and i didn't blame him for things that you know any of my exes did and like we just we really came just with we, we just started completely fresh brand new clean slate 100 percent trust like I'm telling you like i i no passcode on my phone, but then and I, I like, think that was stupid. So I put the passcode thing. on my phone just case it got stolen, and then she just had the passcode. <laughs> no passcode is stupid, him from him. <laughs> but I think that was the best thing that we could have done just been open. complete, yes, been completely open. And when you say give your all, really give, give your, your all. all. And we have kept others on the outside, mm -hmm. outside, and that will be the topic of the next video. Yes, because we didn't this care video is what... already pushing like 19 <laughs> minutes and <sighs> that's kind of a long story time. We don't know if we're gonna go over that. So we're gonna try to keep our story time 20 minutes and below. <laughs> but we hope we didn't uh, miss any points. If y'all have any more questions or we feel like we yes, left some gaps, yes, let us know in the comments. But because we want to do more, we're, well, now we want to, we're going to do more of these because it really does help you guys get to know us and who yes. we are. Because the food, you guys get infatuated with the food. So <laughs> we're going to we have kinda, to do story time yeah, separate. Yeah, we're going to have to do them separate because there are people that have commented on videos and asked questions and they comment on videos that we know we told to answer those questions. <laughs> and no offense, because when we watch ourselves, we get hungry. So we can understand. <laughs> We've been talking about this for a while and a lot of the new family members that have been coming and asking these things, we figured we just go ahead and start, start our story, doing story time, time. so that yeah. we can keep those where when people are ready to find out that kind of information they can go straight to it yes. and i have to kind of filter through the mukbangs true we we think that's only fair because <laughs> everybody has different things they like mm -hmm. and some people like story times so we hope you guys like our little love story we have a lot of stories uh -huh. so uh -huh. be on the lookout and if we don't give relationship advice but we just say how we do it and yes. what worked like and works 
our, for us. Yeah, we're not the end all be all. We just we try to be unbiased and stay mm -hmm. as in the middle as we can when mm -hmm. we're responding and we're answering anything. So just keep that in mind if you ask us any questions <laughs> because we don't take sides. Mm -mm. Make sure you guys give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe if and you're not already bell. subscribed. Hit, hit that, that bell. bell. Because... So every time we post a video, it'll be like. Cause we jumping <laughs> off the bando. Yeah. We jumping off Rick Scales fam. So we got a lot of new family members coming on there. So we getting we, excited. You know, yes. So we gotta do we we been gotta excited, do more things. But... <laughs> we gotta do more things to, you know, kind of bring everybody together and bridge yes. the gap because it seems like, you know, people feel like there's something that's missing. So we're trying to go ahead and fill in what people think that they need. So till next video, fam. Love, Love you guys. You guys.